go. What is going on, my fellow cloners? It has been a long time since the last time I've gotten to make a video, but I come here with great news. As you can tell from the title, this is finally the second part to the first part that I made a whole year ago. And even that video was made a year prior to that. So this thing has been together for two years, just about. A lot has come along since the last video, but not a lot of progress has been made in a while. So, it's an update video, so I'm going to show you the current state of the mock. It's going to be rather quick. Hopefully, I make it. I choose to make it rather quick. Um, so, I'll show you the current status of the mock. Then, I have a massive BrickLink order. To, well, it's actually two orders, but I just combined it into one. I had to verify all the contents that were inside. So I just combined it all into one. Uh, and then I'll show you that. And then we'll get back to this. I'll show you what I'm going to do with those parts. And then I believe I had to make one more order. Now that I'm looking at the parts and the current. Like, it doesn't look that much. That I order. But we'll get, in, we'll get into that. So let's get into the overview so I can explain to you guys. Alrighty, here it is. The overview of what the mock looks like right now. Don't mind the stuff in the background like all those Hot Wheels or the giant Jedi Order flag. We are at a different filming location than the, actually quite a few of the last videos. So let's get into a brief overview. Don't mind those either. Those are all my Jedi. Not all of them. I'm still missing a few because I can't find them. But that's what most of the ones I have. Uh, so obviously we see the last time that you guys saw, you guys saw a blank, basically a blank base plate with just a few, like kind of like mapping, mappings, or I don't even know what I'm trying to say. On here, you guys, I'm sure you guys understand what I'm trying to say. And then you saw the blueprints, but I have ah oh, not these blueprints, not those blueprints. Look away for a minute. The, oh, nope, not this one either. This one, there we go. So, I basically got this. Pretty much T. Pretty dang close. I'm kind of proud about that. That other, uh, those other blueprints were for the mock I'm going to build after this. Yep, I do plan to be a little bit more active. I know I've said that quite a few times, but this is almost done. Because I've almost finished this, it makes me want to build another one. So, the next video that I'm going to post is going to be the final of this, and it's probably just going to be a slideshow. I don't think I'm going to do anything, no commentary and all that, because that's what this video is basically going to be. And then we're going to get on to my next build, and I'll do updates on that. But I'm not going to promise the how frequent those are. So, uh, over here, as well, over here we see we have the ravenous jungle of Kashyyyk with a one whole tree. I went with a denser kind of grass than what I've normally done, as you guys can tell. Then I have to order more. Three stem grass pieces. I did order more. You'll see that in a moment. I'm going to have to order more on top of that. We got a pathway. Nice little pond or little river thing that was not originally in the blueprints, but I ran out of plates. And I ordered the wrong plates when I made my last brick one quarter. I meant to order this green instead of the bright green. But, oh well, mistakes were made. I'll have to fix that. Got a pathway leading in through these walls. And then that is a ray shield. And then into here, which is the slave camp. We got this area back here, which is my favorite. We got kind of like, I don't know what you would call that. But in there is kind of like, it's like a little control unit just to watch over the slaves. Here we got the slave house, which I don't want to take that off because there's a whole bunch of stuff you got to take off with it. Because I really made that really inaccessible and I don't know why. Tree stump, pathway. This is like the execution area, I guess. I just wanted to do that little technique with like the offset tiles, as you can see. And we just got some monkeys getting slaughtered. And then over here we have a modified Imperial Troop Transport that I was talking about last update video, which I'll link in the corner and at the end of the video. But this is it in its final product. 
I think it turned out, for what it is, I think it turned out pretty nice. I mean, there's no way to access the front cockpit or any of that, but this is really just for looks. Got Wookiees on either side. I did have a crate up here, but I decided to take that out because I wasn't quite a fan of that. So I'm gonna put that back on. That's definitely not on there right, but who cares? Um, inside the slave house, I don't give too much away because it will be, I don't know how good that angle is because my arm was all crooked. Um, I don't give, well, I really gave all of that away. So let's get into the brink link, brick link order and then I'll tell you what I'm going to do with those parts and then the more parts I might have to order and then we'll get to the end of the video. So let's get to that brink link order. All right, I'm going to do this one handed because I don't have a spot to put my uh, camera. So as you see, I don't want to show my address, but it's fairly large package. Now, I, like I said, I did combine two orders in here um, just so I could verify the contents and tell the sellers that I got everything that I ordered. So, get all these goodies out of here. I'm not a fan with how they package some of these parts. So you'll see why in a minute. All right, that's all out of here. Also, before we continue, I did order two minifigs. That Ahsoka Tano and Kia Mundi. Those were also in here, but I was too impatient and took them out and built them anyway. So, first to start off, we got some one by. Don't mind my thumb, I dropped a steel slab on it. Uh, some one by three by one inverted slopes, and right next to that are some one by one uh, dark bluish gray plates. Oh, that is that. Here we have, the, I believe this is 50 uh, inverted and light blay uh, 1 by 2 by 3, well, 1 by 2 by 3, yeah, inverted slopes. There's all those. Here, check that out. This is how I shipped, this is how I got shipped them. It's going to be a pain taking them apart, but I don't remember how many I ordered. But as you see, they're dark tan 1 by 2s. Can never have enough of those. Then we have uh, some 1x4s, and I believe 1x3s on the other side. I thought I ordered a lot more than this, but I guess that's how much it looks like. So, here's that. That made no sense. Here we have some dark tan 1x1s, then we have some inverted 45 degree slopes, the 1x2x1s. And then right here in the middle, as you see, we have some scatter sheet slopes olive green, medium dark flesh. I think, yeah, those are the only two colors. But these are one by two medium dark flesh slopes, 45 degree slopes. So I picked those up just because he had them on there and I ordered all of them. He only had four, yeah, that's four of them. So that was a snag because that is my favorite color. Um, here we have some dark blay one by twos and some one by twos in green. We have some tan slopes, which I don't know why I didn't put that in the rest. Some blue studs, because light blue studs. Light trans blue studs. There we go. Because I don't like using dark blue. I have a bunch of dark blue over there, and I don't like using them for water. I don't like using these for water. It makes it look more tropical. And then I have some more three-stone grass pieces. I wiped out his lot. Uh, I believe there's a hundred something here. I can't quite remember. But I do think I'm going to have to order more because, well, we'll get to that in a minute because I'll show you. And then scattered haphazardly in here are uh, inverted 1 by 2 by 3, 75, 75 degrees. Uh, the normal 1 by 2 by 3, 75 degree slopes. So I'm 45 degrees, and it's just a mixture of light gray and dark gray. So that is that. I ripped the bag, so I take it out. But that is this order. It doesn't look like a lot, because I ordered a lot of small pieces. And this is over 700 pieces. So hopefully, this will be mostly enough to cover the rest of that. I'll go show you what I'm going to do with these parts here in a minute. And then we'll get into the outro. Alright, so as you guys can probably tell, with those slopes, I'm going to be using as the rocks to finish that over there. I just have a little section left. And then the rest of this, right along here. And then those, uh, 
uh, bricks were to line up back here, but like I said, I thought the quantity, I don't remember how much I ordered, but the quantity sounded larger in my head. I think it's like 40. It sounded larger in my head than what it was there, so uh, I'll have to find alternative alternatives. I'll probably just end up using these for something like this, but it's on the outside, so as long as it looks nice. Obviously, the dark tan 1x2s are going to be used on the pathway. The three stem grass pieces are going to be used to densely like this, fill up this section right here. But I'm probably going to have to place another order because I'm going to place them also in here. I'm going to do some more elevation changes. I have some more plates that I'm going to use. I'll make it look more hilly in here. And then that's really basically it. A lot of it just terrain for the terrain pieces. Obviously, the top of the mountain. I'm going to have to get compressed air to blow off all the little drywall tidbits I have from drilling those in. Uh, because of this and that. Uh, that made no sense. I don't even know why I said that. Uh, but like I said, the next video will be... Well, I guess we're getting to the outro right now. The next video will be the slideshow of this. I'm not quite sure when that will come out. Let you, look at Let you guys look at this. Yeah, there we go. Not quite sure when that will come out. But soon. At least soon in my eyes. And then the destruction time lapse. I'm gonna make that a video of this. And then we'll get started on my next mock. We're moving away from Imperials. This is obviously this Imperial era era. We're moving away from that. We're going back to the Clone War. So I'm pumped. I'm fired up for the next next mock. But that is all. I completely forgot how my outro went, but we're being completely out of. Well, leave a like if you guys liked it. Make sure you subscribe. Comment down below. I don't even know if we can still do that with the new YouTube pros. I'm not up to date on those. But if you can, leave a comment down below. Uh, other than that, I... Oh, I can't remember. But <laughs> I will have it down next video. Uh, so I want you to have yourselves a very nice day. And this is Clone Production Studios. Signing off. Peace out. Yeah, that was right. Let's go.